What is going on guys? We are heading to another listing video shoot. We're gonna meet up with a Homeless by Cruzy colleague of mine. His name is Colin. This one. So this is a charming 3-2 single family property that we just picked up. And you might've seen him on other listing videos. Your hands. <laughs> it's a weird way how we got this listing. So we actually had another listing tour that I just did with Marissa. So we should take it off stairs? <gasps> you know, you might remember that video. And we did an open house for that house. And down the street, there was someone trying to sell their house on their own, um, a FISBO or a for sale by owner. You'll never cut your own hair. You'll never do your own heart surgery. So you should never sell your house by yourself. And I asked Colin when he, when he was doing the open house at our other listing, you go there, go knock on the door. And he did. And then lo and behold, they know my family. Wow. I grew up in the horse racing business. I spent my pretty much my youth at the track. And the gentleman who owns the house, he's a trainer for my uncle who's a driver. My uncle's Ron Cusimano. And my dad owns horses. So he knows my stepmom. He knows my daddy. Grandma, Grandpa Cousy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Perfect for YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> it was just weird how things work. Anyways, long story short, we spoke to him. We knew we can provide him with better results than what he was getting before trying to do it on his own. So you should never sell your house by yourself. We're listing it and now we're gonna do the video tour. All right, we are here. Colin's already inside, so we're gonna to talk to him in a minute. He's gonna show us around. He knows more about the house than, than I do at the moment. But if you recall the last time we were in this neighborhood, it was pouring, but I got out of that car and I was talking about the uniqueness of that lot. And I thought that that may be one of the most unique lots in the whole community, but actually this house is. We're gonna talk about that in a second, but look, yeah, let me just show you that house for reference. So it's right around the corner here. It looks like, see where that gentleman is in the garage way down there? It looks like they're doing the inspection now. So anyways, we're just a street over, down over here. Now, the reason why this lot here is really cool is because you get something you don't get almost anywhere, in, at least in Southeast Florida. This lot backs to a preserve. They can't build on the preserve, so it's like having your own like, little forest in your backyard. You don't see that a lot at all, and that's like the main selling point of this house, because I would love to just have dinner or a cup of coffee on this patio and not be disturbed looking at neighbors behind me. Instead, just look at nature. Anyways, let's go inside and have Colin show us around. What's going on, man? We're good to go. Congrats on this thing. Thanks. So this is a charming 3-2 single family property in the heart of Winston Park in Coconut Creek, sitting on 5,600 square foot lot, pretty big. Now, the seller is at it for a while. They've done some updates, but there's room for the new owner to come and make it their own. As you walk in, you'll notice that we have a very open and spacious living area. On this side, we have two guest bedrooms. So the bedrooms are split. We have two bedrooms over here. The unique thing about this bedroom right here is this door, a French door, accordion door, whatever you want to call it. This flows right into the bedroom and there's another door right there separating the second bedroom. This is bedroom one. This is right. And then so there's a bathroom right off the entrance Right. that these two bedrooms share. Correct, okay. It's very bright in here. Um, Pretty bright. You have a view of the street, right? You have your storage right there, your closet. Oh, look at that. California closets. Yeah. I like what they did here. They did like a little chair rail. Is that what it's called? I have no idea. Me either. But it looks good because <laughs> they got the crown right. to match it. And they have like a built-in thing under there. So this would be really good for a little kid's room. Smaller kids, yeah. This way we have primary suite. Oh, look, okay. so we were talking about the preserve earlier. Right. And then you get great use of it even out here. So, mm -hmm. I don't know, if it were me, I would put a couple chairs out here. And before I even hear my kids, I'll come out here for coffee. And I see that Chicago brick trail that connects, what, to the patio over on the other side. I love it, because even though what is, this is facing south, and it's, the sun is not going to kill you because of your preserve. Except they put new fans in here. You got your fan. All right, let's go into the ensuite bathroom. Got the storage for your clothes over here. Most of these homes don't have this feature anymore where the toilet is separated. So you have your own entrance for your toilet. Right, the mode. Yep. Pick your choice, pick your poison. If you want a shower, you could go that way. If you want a tub, you could go this way. Dual vanities? Dual vanities. Oh, you know what? what's really good to be missed? 
natural light. Natural light, yeah. It's skylight. Yeah, skylight. So you don't even need to put those lights on. Right. Let's talk about the kitchen. All right, so the kitchen was recently redone. We have granite for the countertops, new cabinets. I like the style. Yeah, Most people don't see the soft and usually see the white, so they opted to go for the light wood grain. You know what the best part is though? What? That guy right there. <laughs> so it's, it's brand new. You got the plastic wrap on yep. still. Brand new stainless steel. All right, so this is gonna convey with the sail. Stove is new, so you don't have to worry about the kitchen. You got volume ceilings yep. with recessed lighting. But you know what I like about this, Colin, is this is a very functional space in many ways. If you have kids, like this community is great for having kids, you might have this like as the family room. And yeah. You know, you can cook dinner and you can hand them food over right. there. You can have gatherings in the kitchen while you look at the preserve. What I'm noticing about this house is how much light it has coming in between the skylights and the windows, how they're placed. Yeah, it's we great. don't have a whole lot of lights on right now, but it's pretty, it doesn't feel like we're boxed in. What I really like about this house is that you can really get creative with the living spaces. So this is our dollhouse tour. We offer these types of tours for all of our listings now. You can grab this link in the description and travel through this house just like we're about to do now. But if you take a look, if you go to this part of the home here, this area could be a living room, could be your dining room, and over here can be the same thing, whatever you want to use it as. So you can go over here and kind of get a better view. Living, dining, and same with over here. And also there's this little third area right back here, which you can do something with that too. Living, dining, kid room, den, whatever you like. All right, so that is a wrap. We got to duck down. Especially this guy, he's so tall. So that is a wrap on this one. If you guys would love to see this house, it's actually priced very, very aggressively at 525, which is the lowest price home in this whole community. It will be. It will be when it goes up. Yep. So it's gonna sell quick. And also bear in mind in this environment that we're in right now, the inventory nationwide is super low and the demand is still high. So chances are somebody's gonna see the value in it and just snap it up right away. If you wanna check this house out, we can call the man Colin here. And he'll love to show it to you and welcome you to the neighborhood. See ya. Cheers. So you should never sell your house by yourself.